Hey, what's going on, guys? Zip here. Look before your very eyes as you see the very first ever world created by Notch, the original maker of Minecraft. This is what it looked like. It was known as Cave Game Tech Demo before it was known as Minecraft. And if you're wondering why it looks a little bit like this, that's because it is the very oldest version of Minecraft. It came out way back almost 10 years ago in 2009. And what you're gonna be seeing in this video is a look at how Minecraft has changed over the years with respect to its block types, its differences in terrain, some of its gameplay mechanics, and a lot more interesting stuff as well. There's a whole lot of nostalgia in here, so if you're an old Minecraft player, you're sure to enjoy, and if you're a new one, you're gonna learn a whole lot. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you smash a like on it. It's much appreciated. A lot of time went into this. It was by Xavier Hotch, and if you wanna check out his channel, he is a command block pro amongst so many other things in the Minecraft community, and he makes awesome videos as well. It's linked in the description. If you enjoyed, like I said, leave a like, subscribe, because there might be a part two. It depends on how long this is, a worse guy. And with that, let's go ahead and break things down version at a time before there was Minecraft as we know it today before there was Minecraft beta before there was alpha before there was classic in dev if dev before there was all of them there was Notch's first test that's right cave game tech test tech demo what is going on? Look at this world. This is the original version of Minecraft as we know it today. This was created originally and uploaded on May 13th, 2009. And it was consisted of a procedurally generated area by Notch that showed off different mechanics using Dwarf Fortress and Infiniminer Aspire techniques in order to create a blocky world that was different every single time it spawned in. Look at this. Two blocks to choose from. Ignore, it's not It's not lime hardened clay, okay? It's a resource pack so that we can show off the world. It's not a big deal. There's only two different types of blocks for this version of Minecraft. And you're looking at them. It was grass, with grass on every side, and it was cobblestone. And found throughout were just little patches of holes in the land. Just grass and cobblestone. And all you could do was place and break blocks. There was no health. There was no food. There was no adventure. There was no caves. It was break and place blocks over and over until you went crazy. It wasn't even particles. It didn't even look this pretty. I mean, truly, what a wasteland we're like walking around in right now. Although it is real nostalgic, isn't it? Oh, wow, yo, something was, say we found our first cave. Man, look at this. This is like such a blast from the past. I could not imagine that Notch had any idea what Minecraft would turn into. Like no one did. I don't, I don't blame the guy. No one has that kind of future telling. And if you do, call me. The world itself was not infinite. It was finite and it was pretty small. In fact, this little cubed area is pretty much the size of the original Minecraft world. You couldn't do anything with it and you couldn't do anything very far either. The top of the world was flat to say the least. And if you managed to make it all the way to the bottom, you would have noted that there was no way of recovering from the void. You see, you'd fall like this and it didn't look as dark and scary as it does. I died. Oops. But then, something changed, my friends. Ooh. Minecraft is shown to the public for the first time in 2009. But this isn't Minecraft Classic just yet. We'll get there. These are some of the original open betas where Notch decided to start letting people play around with his creation. We now have the basic building blocks. This was the new texture for grass. You had dirt, you had stone, all the standards, but you had these classic looking planks. This was the original wooden plank texture. Kind of drab, almost has like a little tinge of pink to it. Mostly gray though, not too colorful. Yeah, water, water hadn't changed too much either. And of course, the classic looking cobblestone. A lot darker than we are used to with today is cobblestone and now we had our basic coloring template we had enough blocks to start creating some form of art and this is actually a screen grab from one of the original versions of minecraft users creations this is like something that was this is like an iconic mine in fact if we can find the picture we're putting it up on screen right now comparing the original to this guy i remember seeing this shortly after the game came out life-changing 
to me. Now, updates continue to come out for the game. However, the real one was when terrain improved and we suddenly had some forms of hills for us to actually move around in. Yes, that's right. If you were to find on YouTube the archive of Notch's old YouTube channel, you could see some of these classic landscapes in effect as they were actually being developed. And we've done our best to recreate what these old versions of Minecraft look like. Still very bare. Not too much going on, to be perfectly honest with you. It's, it's kind of head blocks hanging out, random holes in the ground. No, that's good. No, that's fine. <laughs> we got planks. That's all good. I love planks. Trees. Minecraft. Trees. Minecraft. They added trees to Minecraft in one of the updates. And boy, did it change everything about the game. They're actually a little annoying living things that you can turn into houses finally sprouting up from the ground. Whereas before it was just nah, nothing really important going on. <laughs> you can turn on clouds now because that. Oh, well, hold on a second. It's, it looks clouds. There's not clouds yet. <laughs> Look, clouds. There's finally clouds now, too. Clouds. Clouds and trees came out at the same time. Isn't that nice? And we started to see some other fixtures like lakes. Water lakes started to become procedurally generated. Not only water lakes, but lava lakes as well. Not wanting to change things up and bring some spice to the landscape. Now, here's a fun fact. Water used to flood anything and everything. Look what happens when I break this block. This is how water used to move. Every single place that water could fill in, it would fill in just like this. And every single block would turn into another source block. So if you accidentally had water flow into an underground cave system, oh baby, you would have a very quick underwater grotto. As you can see on screen right here, this is an example of how water used to flow, courtesy of a video on the Nizach, aka the Notch Archive. And wow, that is intimidating seeing that happen in the caves. What are you looking at, stupid? <laughs> Anyways, this world looks beautiful. There was finally some nice color everywhere, some white to dot the blue skies, green trees all over. We had sand eventually added, and then we even got some brick blocks that eventually made their way into Minecraft as well. However, the bl the, bleh, the brick, wow, sorry. The brick and plank textures are about to change as well, alongside their counterparts, the beautiful ore textures. These are full blocks of the various gems and preciousness that were added to Minecraft. And if you want more detail and information about some of the mechanics of old Minecraft, uh, Leave that like already. Say goodbye to the earliest version of Minecraft because now it's time for Minecraft Classic. This is where things started to take a faster pace for the updates of Minecraft. First of all, zombies and health finally added. Here's our first dear look at a zombie friend. Hey, buddy. How y'all doing, man? And not only that, but there was health finally added. Still were not any of these hunger things that you can see in the bottom right here, but there were hearts and food worked in a different way as well. But if you want to see how all that worked, well, there's videos of that plenty on my channel. Like I said, I'm a video guy. I'm really cool. Now, what you can see over here is that Notch accidentally messed up pigs, and that is what formed creepers. Notch was originally trying to turn the creeper, well, he was really trying to make a pig, and instead of making the body sideways like this, it ended up vertical by mistake. And if you notice, that's why creepers have very similar looking pig feet to pigs. You hear that, stupid? You, be, you were supposed to be a pig. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I hate you. Sheep were added as well. Yes, hey there, little sheep. Your first look at Minecraft. What y'all? What y'all looking at? Is it? Is it? Uh, oh, we'll worry about what that was in a second. For now, glass. Glass made its way into Minecraft as well. The oldest version of the game even had nice little decorative blocks like that. But probably the most impressive thing was bedrock was finally a thing, and it has not aged a single day. The texture has not changed once. There's not too many textures that have changed once since Minecraft's original inception. It's honestly really impressive. Anyway, signs were eventually added so that we could make this video for you guys and make it real nice to explain in video. Thanks, Xavier. <laughs> but we're gonna get rid of these guys because they, they don't like what they say. They get my way. And basically right around this time is when things started to take a turn for the combat themed. Namely, skeletons and spiders were added in addition to zombies and their animal friends. Except skeletons did in fact sound a little bit different as well. Now I'm not sure if we've got their new sound, let me hear. 
Nah, nah, it's the same. Now, right around this time is when the game was considered in its mode known as InDev, as in short for In Development. This was Minecraft as it was currently being developed live. Well, I mean, it happened ages ago. It's not being developed by Notch Live anymore, but it's still being updated, thankfully. Bows were literal machine guns if you happen to grab one from one of your skeleton friends or make one for yourself. Now, if you can see right here, you see we've got a nice little right click. This is how the arrows used to fly. You just right click once. Now, again, we're, we're using command blocks to make it look a little better than it is, but they used to shoot instantly and at an extremely fast pace. There was no charging the arrows back. I kind of want to hit him. Can I get... Oh, you... Ein. Yo, hurry, hurry, man. Come on, easy does it, man. I'll show him. Watch, check it out. Okay, I think that's gonna that's gonna nail him the spot. Look. Hey, 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 I hate you, you idiot, your worst guy. Yo, this guy can take a beating. Yeah, much better. I'm gonna keep these for protection. According to the Minecraft wiki, breaking a log used to get you three to five pieces of wood on doing that, and we only got one here. But that's because this is a new Minecraft, and you know, there's some things we just can't show off to you in video form. You know, it can't be magic all the time, you know. Now, what you can see here is the new version InfDev. This is when everything became infinite. These old worlds were contained, they were all a certain size. Once you reached the end of your world, the border, you couldn't move any further. InfDev is what led to the infinite game we know as Minecraft today. The workbench is finally here. You can craft things like swords, you can actually, you know, do some stuff, right? Clouds are now in 3D, they used to be Oh, 2D. I didn't show that. That's my bad. You can actually still enable this if you go to fast. This is what clouds... Oh, come on. It's because I got Optifine. There's like lots of other details than normal. This is what the clouds used to look like. Right. This was... Oops. And when InfDev came, they became 3D. Isn't that just lovely? Now check this out. This is also the update that added the Far Land. If you don't know what the Far Lands are, it is the landscapes that appear once you make it out like 32 million blocks <laughs> people are still trying to travel to the far lands today shout out to kurt j mac good luck on your journey my friend 32 million blocks away the game starts to glitch so bad that this is what the landscape turns into the far lands the water flows in an odd way we've got random holes peeking through the land it's really interesting stuff i've never personally made it y'all want to see a far lands video let me know what that lie up to say you trade me in likes it's, it's really not a bad deal seriously dungeons were added and they were never changed since the current dungeons you can find in minecraft today are the very same ones that were originally available all the way back in imp dead like in 2009 10 years almost and no changes monster spawners had a slight change in color but other than what you could find in them not too much has been altered you know maybe they updated loot tables here and there but they look exactly the same now, there used to be human mobs which have since been removed. Beast Boy, Steve, Black Steve, and Rana. Yes, those were all of their actual names. If you want a video on those, you, you, you see the pattern here. And not only that, but large pyramids used to spawn randomly in the worlds. They didn't really do anything. They were just there to spruce up the random generation, I guess. I never actually played right around when these guys were in, in game, so I don't know that I ever saw these. Or maybe I did play, and I just never happened to cross one. It's not like they were exactly common, but they were definitely there. Now, probably the most important feature of InDev was that it was infinite development. Well, I accidentally deleted that sign. Worlds are now infinite. Yeah, we already covered that sign. Let's get with the program. Obsidian walls used to mark the cardinal directions, you see, of where the world used to... Actually, I don't really know what that one's talking about. But trust it, it's on a sign. Yeah, yeah, there's more over there. I want to explore the far lands real quick, since I never made it. I'm curious to see, like, how it looks. Yikes. This is wild looking. Hey, man, I really should do a video on this. This is super cool. Like, there's just little caves and holes that you can try and peek your way through the lava, hanging out with the... Wow. Yo, that's a... That's a... Look at this. Do you hear me? I'm, like, sizzling right now. Isn't that funny? Wow, that's sweet. Now that Minecraft had its basic color palette, its basic terrain shape, it was time for InfDev's days to come to an end. And so what is behind this wall? Well, my friend. Welcome to Alpha, 
Ooh, ooh, nostalgia moment just came over me. This is when I started to play Minecraft seven or eight years ago now. Bye-bye, Indiv, Diamond and Iron. You see, you have these lovely blocks. They are going away into these new iron blocks as well. Alpha 1.2 was when these guys came out and the gold blocks came out. We're going to talk about those later. These are what the new blocks would look like. Again, I already have a video talking about most of these things, but what I really want to show you is just the change in terms rain it was really just the same thing everywhere there weren't biomes yet there were trees here and there all over the well here and there they were literally everywhere <laughs> there's all you really had things to change up the terrain with you got some sand caves everything used to be different in fact we should probably stay on the path so that we're not losing track of anything right so the old-fashioned textures the changes were coming soon these are what the furnaces and the dispensers look like in these times let's keep following the path so we can see what's next oh check this out out. Yo, yikes. This little nice gravel beaches. Hey, that's good stuff, huh? What else do we got going on here? Next sign. Well, it's really far away. I guess we'll just fly to the rest part. What we have here is the biomes. The transitions weren't as smooth. So now you have things like beaches and gravel beaches and, and hilly grass areas and not as hilly grass areas. Isn't it just lovely? Oh, oops. <laughs> I forgot to mention all the way back here in InDev and InfDev, uh, flowers. Lovely little flowers we're adding. that nice? So anyway, as you can see, See how everything turns from just green everywhere to finally some change in what we're looking at when we are hanging out around these worlds. Now the next sign you can see right over here shows off a new addition. Cold beaches. These were all over the place in the original days of Minecraft. And not only were cold beaches common, but in the older versions of Minecraft, there were certain snow worlds where it didn't matter what biome you were in, it was snowing at all times. What you're seeing on screen here is a video of those original weather worlds where it was snowing no matter what biome you happened to be in, and it would never go away. In fact, in those worlds, those were the only worlds that could snow. If you were in other lands there was snow but there was no snow falling from the sky that wasn't implemented until much later now bold on to your hoodies because things are about to get hot then there was the nether back in the day no forts no blazes no magma no withers no cords sorry it's hard to talk for like 20 minutes straight i trip over my words sometimes this was the nether in its full and lovely form and i even have an old edition of this that is on my channel actually i think it's unlisted because i was a bad boy and i used to say bad words in my videos don't don't go looking you're gonna find nothing good kids but other than that it was just a dark dreary place with little lava falls here and there lava all over the place you know there was uh there was ghasts i think in zombie pigment but there weren't all those extra mobs the lava looked nasty looked like cut like cheese not cho cheese hey it's not cho cheese that's my cheese ouch you hit myself on the wall now my friends it's time for beta uh, from alpha to beta all the way through to beta 1.8 the bricks changed, so did the grass, so did the lapis. This is before beta, and this is after beta. In fact, there were still a few things that looked the same, like lava still looks like cheese. Don't don't look at me like, I told you to get in there, get in there when I tell you, get in there. Gravel still looked ugly, right? But you started to see some other fun additions popping up. Namely, the grass wasn't so blatantly green anymore. There was actual grass that appears from here and there. You've got sugar canes growing, originally called reeds, changed up. And you started to see some additional alterations, like more open style caves that led to different things. In fact, the terrain was so different that it didn't even feel like the same game when things switched over to beta. So much had changed. Like, look at this. This is beautiful. What? What's that you say? It looks like the same caves as you're used to? Well, you're wrong, okay? Just just trust me. Finally, cobblestone was changed to this nice lighter color. You see, modern cobble added. Mossy cobble, it looks like it was affected to look kind of a, the same brightness and contrast level. And finally, goodbye to the old gold blocks, which kind of look like blaze heads without the eyes or anything. Am I right, anybody? These were the new gold blocks, and they definitely don't remember them sounding like that, but that's okay. Gold blocks were finally changed. It's all right, guys. Now, one huge update was the fact that villages were added, but they were empty. 
no villagers yet. In fact, villagers weren't even originally called villagers, they were called testificates, and those were added in the 1.0 official release of the game. But for now, these were all barren, empty lands for you to find these just d deserted houses. Kinda, kind of uh, spooky. Far more rolling hills all over the place. Pumpkin patches would spawn. More and more biome diversity over there. You can see some swamp. Get out of me swamp. Mmm, the caves are completely different alongside all the terrain changes as well. We already kind of peeked in some here and there, but namely, they were very rounded off, and a lot of the time they were super open, and you could explore open-ended cave systems for extremely long periods of time. And just like that, we've reached the end. This is pretty much what Minecraft looks like today, what you're seeing right in front of you. There were some major terrain changes in 1.7, but for the most part, there wasn't any changes outside of that, except for jungles, which were added in Minecraft 1.2. Look at this world before your eyes. It probably looks a little more familiar than you're used to. Well, I mean, I don't have smooth lighting on. You'll watch. You're all going to see how it changes. Look, much better. You see that lighting makes a world of difference, doesn't it? There are a few more terrain and texture changes, as you can see right here. I've got a full video on that that I've probably mentioned six times in this one. So if you haven't watched it yet, I don't know what to tell you. If you want to find out more, though, that's where you're going to find it. For now, this is the end of how Minecraft used to look. I hope you all learned something, or I hope I brought you back a few years to some of your finest days as a young well I don't know how old you are but anyways if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like on it. it's much appreciated if you want to see more videos like this that's the best way to show me of course subscribe to get notified and hit that bell be swell so you can see the next video right as it comes out oh yeah these three new stones were added but no one likes these stones